I wanted to make some points about the Nintendo uh, announcement that they're going to try to be putting out 20 to 30 games a week on the Switch, on the for indie games anyway. I think it's an awful idea. I think it's an awful idea because who is going to be able to look through 20 to 30 games and realistically say, I want to play this game and be sure of it. I think the only people that could reasonably, because that's ends up being about, on average, around three to four games a day. So I think the people that would be able to look at that are going to be people that are daily users. And I think people that are more likely to be daily users tend to be the people that don't always have the money to be buying those games. I think you get a lot of people that are younger, and I don't necessarily mean you get people that are like 8 or 10 or 13. You know, you get people in their early 20s, but people in their early 20s might be going to college and working a job or having friends. They don't have time to be playing a bunch of games too. So you're kind of losing out on the point of releasing a bunch of games because they're going to be playing, I would think, if, you know, if they're a dedicated gamer but also want to play that one or those two games that are kind of like their staple games that they either play with their friends or just play because they love them. You're looking at two to three games a week that you could be assuming you're getting a handful of hours out of an indie game. I don't know if I made my point there. I'm hoping I did. It's a bad idea. So forgive me if I didn't. Anyway, let's go on to my next point. What my recommendation would be for Nintendo moving forward. And that's, I think it would be a good idea or a cool idea to see Nintendo, instead of releasing 20 to 30 indie games a week, do one indie game a day. And that, or even just two or three a week, or maybe four to five games a week. So you could have, say, starting Sunday or Monday, you have this slideshow or whatever that pops up every time, and you can look through it and you get nice in-depth trailers and demos or explanations and maybe reviews of the game and you can see kind of what the game's about and if it feels like it'd be a good fit for you and i think the one game a day would be really nice because it allows you to take that day and showcase it it's the first thing you see when you go into the store they put up a panel on it when you log in when you power on the switch they're like a little advertisement saying hey this game here and people can click on it, look at it, read, again, read reviews, look at videos, see if it's something that they would find enjoyable, and it just allows more focus to be put on that. I don't think I really have any other points to be made in that regard. It's a pretty simple idea. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, details and a lot more complicated aspects that get involved when you try to implement something like that, or if they tried to implement something like that, but... I think that just seems like a much better way, and it's not only for the reason of showcasing one game a week or having oversaturation weekly, although I do think that is a problem. I think it also helps oversaturation with your backlog. So any games that you're adding to your store, those games are going to stay there. And so if you look at releasing 20 to 30 games a week, after a month, let's assume it's four weeks, you're looking at 80 to 120 games. And that's a fucking nightmare to look through. If you're like, I want to play a new game, I have to scroll through and look at 80 to 120 games. I I don't know if that's an issue for other people, but I know I wouldn't enjoy it. I've done it. Uh, we have a Switch in the house and just trying to look through and pick out an indie game that seems interesting looking at reviews online, looking at the gameplay they've got posted, or the videos they've got posted, just, it is not an enjoyable experience. Imagine if each month they're adding a hundred new games to that. That is so much more yet to scroll through to get to something that you might be interested in. I think by the time we had scrolled through everything we could find game-wise, there were maybe five games that were we were interested in playing that hadn't already been played on PC or that we didn't already own on the Switch. So I think that's one area I think it's really going to come back to hurt is just the longevity of these titles. And 
to that, I think uh, I had recorded some of this previously, and I didn't hit this point in the beginning, which I really wish I had. But with indie games, at least the last I heard, last I read, last I saw, a majority of indie games do not break even. A majority of indie games go relatively unnoticed. It is a small minority of indie games that break even or become profitable, and an even smaller minority of them that actually hit mainstream appeal in the sense that things like, uh, say, Stardew Valley, Undertale, things like that do. And I think if those are the types of games, Celeste, I mean, I could list more, but there aren't a lot of games that are going to hit that. And the biggest issue with that is saturation. It, on PC, it's oversaturated. And so you get so many games coming out that it's easy for potentially good indie games to fall through the cracks and not get noticed. And by aiming to hit 20 to 30 games a week, I mean, that's a lot more visibility than they currently get on platforms like Steam, but it's still not as good as I think it could be. And you're giving opportunities for players who would otherwise want to play a game you're kind of saying, hey, pick between these two or these three to four games that you really like or might be interested in, pick one of them because you're not going to have time because we're going to have something else that you could be interested in by the time you beat that. And it's going to be fresh in your mind because we're going to show you each day. So there's a lot of... Indie games are going to lose a lot of opportunities, I think, by doing this. If they shortened or tightened the amount of games that you were being shown or that they were adding to the store each week, I think that would do a great benefit for the indie scene on it. I don't, you know, I'm not saying that it's not a great place to have indies and that 20 to 30 day, 30 games is going to hurt them. I just don't think it's going to help as much as I would like to see. I also don't know if 20 to 30 games, indie games a week is uh, completely reasonable. That's something we'll have to see. Because I think a lot of, you know, when you look at Steam, you do get a lot of indie games, quote unquote, but a lot of those are asset flips or just quick repackaged assets, like store-bought assets thrown together in a way to make money or just really cheap cash grabby games or things. Uh, you know, I don't know all the modern scams. I don't care to play those games for obvious reasons, but you're going to get things like that. And I would like to think that Nintendo is going to do a better job at curating their store and not allowing such content on. And at that point, I don't think you're going to get the same volume of games coming out onto the platform. I don't know, though. I could be mistaken. Uh, we'll see, obviously, moving forward. And I hope that it does end up well for game developers. I hope that they make insane loads of money and get to follow their dreams. I just don't think it's the best for them, and I'm, I have concerns, both future concerns and past concerns once this is implemented. If it's implemented a few months in, you could be looking at 500 games in the backlog that you have to sort through to, you know, find some new games, and in the future, you might be having issues where you just don't have games to put onto the platform, so there's a sudden drop-off. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't really have much else to add. If you do have anything to add, if you do watch this to this point or any point, you know, at this, <laughs> if you watched it all the way through, you're hearing me speak. If you didn't watch me all the way through, you're not hearing what I said. But if you watched it all, feel free to let me know I'm wrong. Uh, if you do, please let me know why I'm wrong, but that is welcome. And yeah, have a nice night.